Hi, my little pina coladas. I'm here and we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul. It has been another two week stint and I'm just not even going to try to explain the whole ordeal, but it's been weeks of lots of events and things going on and tons of work and Thanksgiving, you know, preparation. And now we are into the madness of Christmas and I am so excited because every single one of the holidays this is my time of year other than the summertime I get the most excited and looking forward to and so I have been periodically in between working and getting ready for Thanksgiving picking up things here and there for gifting and also decorating and I have quite a few things over here to my left that I want to show you I have hauled a ton of necessities in the last two weeks since I've seen you last, to which I am not even going to show you this time around because I've always already packed them into the household. We've already used up several items and they're kind of repeat items that I just generally get anyways. So we've seen it all a million times before in a thousand other hauls. So this stuff is generally just all Christmas, if not for um, gifting then also for decorating and things like that so I just wanted to show you what I've got so I am into it the day of Thanksgiving I took everything down by four o'clock packed away all my Thanksgiving stuff I got out all of my Christmas clothing and accessories and I'm surprised I don't have one of my um, headbands on but I have a good 15 um, decorative headbands for a Christmas theme that I intend on wearing every day to work for the whole month of December. I have all of my earrings out. These are my little tiny Christmas bulb earrings and these are one of my favorites. I have, I have just, I have done up this house and we're still going at it. So I just wanted to show you the things that I've picked up over the last few weeks. So um, my bedroom is coming along, but now I'm going to start getting my son's room all decorated. He has two rooms upstairs. He has a gaming room slash hangout room where he spends most of his time when he is home. He has a lounge area in there. He has his desk and office type of setup in there, a TV, you know, he has gaming things all over the room. And so that's generally like his hangout area for when, well, you know, before Corona hit, where him and his buddies pretty much spent all their free time you know when they were here and now we're just getting that room ready for Christmas and I'm trying to find him Christmas bedding because the other room that he has on the second floor um, is also his bedroom and like a little lounge area in there as well there's sizable rooms so he has a couple of rooms to bounce between and he generally um, stays on the second floor other if he needs something to eat it's like his own little apartment area so I want to decorate it and get it ready I brought the Christmas tree down from the third floor in one of the rooms and now I just went and grabbed some garland to string around it. I did get this really cute red and blue and white snow uh, snowman garland. Let me see if I can get out of the frame here so it focuses. And this is really, really cute garland to just string around the tree. It's nine feet tinsel so I got two of these so that I can swing them around his tree in his game room so we can enjoy a little Christmas ambiance. Last year we did it as well. We decorated his tree. We had strobe lights with all kinds of Christmas snowflakes flying around his room. He loved it. He is my kid. You know, I have him all decked up for the holidays and I got these ornaments to put on his tree. I love, love, love this side is missing a little bit of the sequences, but that's okay. Um, they're very pretty, very shimmery, very shiny. So I got, I got one of each color and th these are kind of cool because there's two to a pack. Love, love, love the bl blue ones that will go with his garland as well as the red. And then also I got the gold. So those are going to look so cute and pretty on his tree with his garland. 
and then and then and then and then and then I just thought because that's like kind of like his party hangout room whether it's him by himself or like one or two friends over now that we you know don't entertain like we used to uh, my house was full my whole life growing up full of my friends my cousins things like that and Isaiah has had every one of the places that we've lived jam-packed with him his buddies his friends cousins and things like that so even though he's an only child we always had a ton of people at our house always so I can't wait until corona goes so that we can start entertaining again so since his room is kind of like the party room I thought it would be cute to put some um, party blowers all speckled around the tree kind of just like popping out of the tree I thought that the little the little fringe at, on the top would kind of look like it was just like fireworks coming out of the tree. And so I grabbed an eight pack of party blowers so that we can um, put those in the tree also for an ornament type of like decoration. Now this, I am not going to open this up, but I'm going to try to show you as much as I can of the images. This paper, okay, is um, Hallmark Expressions, which most of them are from Hallmark, the gift wrap at the Dollar Tree. This is 30 square feet. And this one has Santa doing all different things in each frame along the paper. And it is just so visually pretty. Um, right there, he's going through his sack of toys. He's sitting in his Christmas chair. Um, this one, I think, let me see. He is, oh, he's setting a toy under the tree for a child. This one, he's looking at Prancer or one of the reindeer anyhow. Um, they're just really, really pretty images. And the color inside of each image is so vibrant and colorful. And they're just really beautiful. And even if I don't wrap everything with this paper, I would use a good section of this to probably frame or something like that. Um, when I find things like this, like gift bags or wrapping paper that's really, really pretty that I enjoy, I just grab a Dollar Tree frame. I'll cut it out to size and then I will frame it and use it for decorations and I will bedazzle or decorate around the frame so that it looks like holiday and pretty. I have done so much crafting and I do apologize because I don't record like I used to when I do like my crafting sessions and stuff. Um, I just find it more therapeutic for me personally to just kind of be in the moment with my things. But I have done so, so much uh, along the lines of like holiday crafting. And um, if this video isn't too long at the end, I will include some pictures of the things that I've created over the last few weeks. And it's been really, really nice to just kind of get into all of that and sit around. And I've framed a bunch of the uh, window clings that I've got at the Dollar Tree and I've, like I said, decorated around the frame, you know, applied things to the frames with my hot glue gun. It looks so pretty, so cute. And they've, the things that I've made have come out really nice and I've made a ton of wreaths. Um, I'm only going to show you one, but I did get eight of these. Um, I have one on my front door. Usually I make one for my front door, which still I may put one of the ones I made on my front door, but I was trying to keep it like all uniform this time instead of like something different on every door. So currently I have one on my front door, my side door, and I'm also going to put them on my windows with the um, suction cup uh, little hook that you can get from the Dollar Tree in the Christmas section. They have small ones that I think are like 12 in a package for a dollar and then they have the bigger suction cup uh, hooks. I think eight in a package for a dollar. So I grabbed one of those which I've already broken into so I'm not going to show it to you. And I grabbed um, plenty of these wreaths to hang up on my windows. So I grabbed eight of these. And I think that they're just kind of, 
I mean, I know that they're, they're just a dollar, so they're not really full and thick and it's just a wreath, you know, a, just a quick wreath, but it's kind of made it all look uniform. I love the red bow. I love the little accent of the white on the tip so that it looks like it's got a snowy effect to it. And it really does look pretty against the doors and the windows. So I needed a few more to put them outside. So I did that. And then I also decorated, I do have a mini Christmas tree out in front of my driveway. So I have started to decorate that, but I needed some bulbs to put on it and um, uh, ornaments to put on it. And I grabbed the silver ones because I have light blue Christmas bows on the point of the Christmas tree and also on the front post of my porch. So I grabbed some silver here and there are seven count in each. I grabbed two packages of those so that I can add this to the garland that's along my railing to my porch and I can add these to the mini Christmas tree out in front of my house. And I've blown up and we, Richie and I spent the whole day yesterday setting up all of the yard ornaments and things like that. It looks so cute outside. Um, I'm not completely done so I won't be including any pictures in that because we're still going to add more stuff. I don't have all the wreaths hung up on the windows with the little suction cup, uh, cups to attach them. But I'm excited to show you guys once it is done. So these are decent wreaths but definitely not what I was looking for. I have been to countless amount of Dollar Trees trying to look for wreath forms and the ones that I would really like are the square ones and currently they do not have any of any type of... I go frequently to Dollar Trees probably two, three, four times a week um, I usually get to the ones local to me two of the four times that I go to the Dollar Tree a week and none of them ever have any of them. So then I venture out to the little bit further stores and none of them have them. So I finally gave up and I grabbed these because these are a decent size and this is an 18 inch wreath. And even though it is, um, already have the greenery on it and it's not just the wire wreath form that I'm looking for. The, the size of this is decent, so I'm going to use this to build onto for some more wreaths I have made. I think last week I made 10 wreaths with so many, so many embellishments on it. And they all, to me, because I'm really wild and eccentric and have like a wild eye for just like putting it all together in like a wrap if I don't think it out I just kind of like go with my instinct and what visually is making me happy I don't plan things ahead of time so I've made some really wild and up my alley wreaths I know a lot of people like the more tapered look where you know it's it's kind of like all makes sense like there's a red bow and there might be some you know, berries around it with, with like, you know, just acorns or something like that, or, you know, pine cones or whatever. And mine is like an explosion of color and all different types of materials and bows and bulbs and a centerpiece. <laughs> and my brain kind of just like takes it the extra 10 miles when I am creating things. So these I'm going to also do in my form of, you know, enjoyment of what I like on a wreath. And I did try to do a couple that were just kind of like the tapered, really like classic look, like I explained to you that most people would generally go toward. Um, but mine is just has to be wild or it's not going to be me. So I have quite a bit left to use to put on wreaths, all of the embellishments that I've have throughout my crafting room. And, um, I needed three more to create. So I did grab these because like I said, guys, there's none out there. The wire wreath form forms are gonzo, just gonzo. And I'm so sad because I've been looking for them like crazy and can't find them nowhere. So now this, 
these are the cutest and I had to get these because red's one of my favorite colors but also the toe and the heel part remind me of the movie Up and that was one of my favorite movies and it just reminds me of the little cluster of balloons and these are like the softest most cuddly fuzzy socks this brand that they have at the dollar tree is phenomenal and i have grabbed i can't even tell you the amount of socks since this brand has come out and the variation of different colors and things like that that are coming out are really really cute around the holidays and i absolutely love these love 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 them so i grabbed those and then these i found and they are the holiday ones and this is a flamingo i'm just gonna take this off this is a flamingo ice skating now tell me that is not the cutest thing ever and it says happy holidays it's got some stripes on it and some snowflakes really adorable socks i love socks i love socks i have a collection of socks that is like completely out of control because nothing is better than coming home at the end of a long day taking off all of your grubby clothes from working and being gross all day taking a nice shower putting on some like lounge pants and an oversized shirt with some fuzzy socks whip my hair back and call it a day clean my house bake cook craft and organize and do my budget <laughs> like that is my day in a nutshell that is what i enjoy most in the whole entire world to do i am getting old i like to be out like early in the morning until maybe like the mid afternoon and after that i'm i'm home i'm home and i'm chilling and i'm doing my own thing and i'm in my comfy clothes I got a bunch of oversized shirts over the last couple of weeks on clearance for like a dollar or two dollars at Walmart, some sweatpants, and that is my gift to myself from for Christmas. So I'm excited. I have my socks to go with my outfits. Now these, they have been getting an incredible amount of material in their little crafter square section in the Dollar Tree. And I have hit the jackpot and I have a friend that actually puts the masks together for me. I bring the material for her and then she puts the masks. Oh my God. And they are so cute. She's made me stuff for Thanksgiving out of the material that I found from the Dollar Tree. And she's also made me some Christmas stuff. And I have a ton more material right now to bring her so that she can put some more masks to m together for me. And I'm going to keep her business going with these materials that I keep finding. Um, Hello. Will you look at that? This is like my dream material. And if you watch my channel and you know me at all, you know that this is my dream someday is to own something to just travel in. And this has to be the cutest material that I have found yet. So of course I had to grab two of them. And again, this is the Crafter Square fabric. And she's made me the wreaths out of, um, not the wreaths, my goodness, I have wreaths on the brain now. She's made me the masks out of this with no problem and there's plenty of material left over. I haven't even unfolded this all the way, so that is definitely not all the material. Um, I could unfold this the rest of the way, but I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you the image. So I grabbed two of those so that I can bring some more material to you, Valerie, and you can make these more bands um more more masks i mean so i grabbed this one the black and white checkered and then i'm gonna be bringing these to her shortly because this is like christmasy and so it's gonna make me some really really cute christmas masks um right there and then this one i love it's got i'll i'll open this one this one has the little the little fox on it with the little 
mushrooms and acorns and oh it's just that's adorable and then that material the little flowers all over with the blue background so pretty and then this one has to be one of my favorites this is the little plaid with a little bit of a red lining uh speckled into the green and i love this one and i love that color green that little really really vibrant green so that's all brand new material that i just found today and i'm excited because their material that they've been showing is stupendous now this is just another window cling sheet i already hauled this one and i already started to craft with the one I already got, but I definitely wanted to get another one and I haven't been able to find it. But this, uh, I think yesterday I found it, um, in the morning when we went out to go grocery shopping. So I love this vintage one. This reminds me of all the decorations that I had as a little girl set up in my house. It's classic. The images, especially that snowman and Santa, um, the nutcracker, the deer, definitely. I had ornaments all over my tree that looked just like these images. I had stand-up um, decorations that were like life-size that plugged in and lit up that looked like the Santa in the snowman. And my house, totally, totally cute. And I'm excited that I found another one finally. And then I got this. Nothing is better than a little kid's cleaning set, I don't think, or a cooking set or a doctor's kit and i was so excited my little goddaughter is two and she is going to help mama clean the house i found this and i had to get it because i thought that is precious i have stuff all behind me so i'm gonna just start grabbing from behind me all right and along the lines of my goddaughter she is into trolls so I found this, and this is for colors and shapes, and it has some cute stuff that she can work on in here with mom, um, just a cute little book to put, give her, and then this little dry erase pad from Trolls for her to draw on and then erase and use again and again, which I thought was adorable. I'm going to try to pull this stuff up so that I can actually reach it. And then this Christmas box, that Santa is just like the one I had when I was growing up. And this inside is gorgeous with that beautiful red. It's a deep little box. I'm just going to use it to set up on my counter. I love the plaid on the side, Santa's Christmas list, it says on the side. I don't know if you're seeing that correctly, but this is um, a very, very cute box, so I had to get it. And then this bag, so this is for my dog, and this will be her gift bag to put under the tree. My candy girl is not feminine at all. My little Yorkie, she's actually like a silky terrier. Um, she had, you know, the Yorkies have more of like a square face and candy has more of a pointy and her hair is like long. And I think she's a silky terrier from what we've looked up over the years. She's going to be 13 years old and um, she's just my little crazy girl. And you've seen her before if you've seen my videos but I had to have this bag for her stuff. We'll get her a new dog bed and some shampoo and things like that. Um, and she doesn't really do toys and stuff. And I'll get her some treats and dog food. And I'll put it in the bag for her under the Christmas tree. So I picked that up because that dog's face was just the cutest thing ever. And now this. Look at them. I These are just the outdoor stakes that you um put i don't know why it has this string well i guess maybe because a lot of people remove it off the stake i don't see a lot of people because 
these stakes being outside and the elements don't hold up very well and it just kind of ruins the whole entire thing to put this outside but i do get these stakes when they have cute um heads to it because then i remove this from the stake and i will use it as a centerpiece to a wreath if i'm making that or i'll craft it into some other type of of thing but i had to have him because i love how the wood grain look shines through the image of his face it looks very very like country and cute i love 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 it and then santa is adorable same thing i love the wood look it kind of looks weathered and i'm going to remove both of those heads and use it for a centerpiece to one of the wreaths that i make i went upstairs last week while i was organizing and i instead of just kind of having my my storage room all kind of scattered everywhere i organized all the holidays together and then all of like the things that I've created and made, especially the wreaths, I hung up on the walls instead of just having them in piles stacked on top of each other. I've hung them up now. So it kind of looks like a crafting gallery up in my storage room in one of my rooms in my attic. And it's speckled all throughout the hallway. It's so vibrant, so colorful with all the wreaths from all the different holidays all over the walls. It looks really pretty. And I wish I had done it so much sooner because it would have saved some of my wreaths from getting, you know, kind of battered and, and thrown around. But they all look great. And I have created an incredible amount of wreaths. I need to probably slow down on the wreaths. But I just love making them so much that I can't like give it up so but I, I need to like control myself next year and maybe make like three wreaths a holiday because when I go to town I make like 10 to 15 and then I say I'm gonna sell all of them but then I look at them and I'm like I like that one <laughs> and so then I end up keeping it I don't know I gotta control myself with my crafts um I always get my bows, the bag of bows at the Dollar Tree. Why not? It's a dollar. Comes with a variation of all these different bows in it, different colors. Um, I love this one that is kind of like the, the goldish tint with the iridescent in it. That one is my favorite. I wish I could show it to you from the front. That one is definitely one of my favorite, favorite bows to come in these bags. And I don't know if it says exactly how many bows are in here. It doesn't. It just says gift bows. So I grabbed two bags of those, but I've already quite torn into the other one. And it's it's literally almost gone, as you can see, because I've been crafting with them as well. So that's that. Then I also got... I know I already hauled this one, but I already can't find it anywhere, and I don't know what I did with it. So I did have to pick up a second one, and this is from the Cobblestone Corner Winter Village. And this is the camper in the little red truck, which and I someday, our dream, and I'm going to put that in my Christmas village that has been set up since the week before Thanksgiving. And then I grabbed this one um, with the little bench and the two lamp posts because I thought they were just so cute with the wreaths on it. I'll set like one of my little characters on the bench in the square and I had to get that. So I'm going to add those to what I've already put up in the living room. Now let's see what is in here. Okay now these are cool. Now this is a gifting type of thing because my son loves to use all of my facial things that I find and try them out. He loves to like, you know, to use all different products on his face. And I found these last week and I'd never seen them before, but they are from that Freeman brand, which is normally not a dollar. And you can get it anywhere, like Walmart, Target, you know, CVS, Walgreens, whatever. It's a name brand that's out normally for quite a bit more than just a dollar. So this is Freeman. But they come in these really, really adorable gel 
pouches and this is melting sugar face mask and this one is matcha ice cream pore clearing so and I think that they're so pretty with like the speckles all over it so I grabbed two so that I can give Isaiah one in like a care uh, uh you know a uh, hygiene clear cleaning like basket that I'm going to make him full of all of different soaps and body washes and shampoos and things like that and and face you know face cleaners cleansers clearers all that stuff so I grabbed two of those which I'm excited to have found these because I haven't seen them again since last week maybe a week and a half ago same thing but different kind this is the rose gummy uh the rose gummy bear and look at the packaging again so cute with the gummy bears all over it and this is supposed to be for moisturizing so i i just love these i think that they are so cool and then this one is lemon meringue how cute. It, I mean, they killed it with the packaging with these for sure. The lem lemon meringue all over it. And then I grabbed this, which this is a... Oh, there it went. I already threw something. This is a brightening seaweed and pearl sheet mask from the Freeman brand. So I grabbed two of those. I am excited for these and this in front of me is Isaiah's gift bag so I'm gonna throw them right in there so I don't lose them in the mix now I grabbed some of these tinsel stems 45 piece here so that I can attach things without always having to use my glue gun to the wreaths that I'm making and kind of twist the materials and the things that I'm using to create the wreath look that I'm going for with these. I need a new hot glue gun because I use that thing. Oh, I use it and it, it's like, it's dilapidated and it, it's gone bananas. Um, and sometimes it sticks and I've, the, the gun part is like getting stuck. I've really used that thing to to almost death and so I might have to put my glue gun to sleep pretty soon and go out and buy a new one. Um, and then I grabbed this poinsettia and these are just little small ones and I've applied them to wreaths. I've already used some of the flowers on the stem and they're all pretty full and bright and I love the sparkle on these little poinsettias here. Those were so cute. I just grabbed one pick of those because in one pick I can use it to kind of speckle the flowers around in between all of the other embellishments that I put on the wreaths um, and just use a few flowers for each wreath so it can last a couple of wreaths. Now this I just thought would be cute to put in his candy basket that I'm also making him and this is a chocolate bar. And this one is a, a million dollar bar. So I just grabbed that to add to his little candy basket, which I will also put in his basket in front of me so that it can already be there. Then I grab some ribbons. This one is cute. This one says Mary on it. The little poinsettia plants. Merry Christmas. And I got two of those and they are the wire edged ribbon and they're nine feet long. So I grabbed two of those and then I also grabbed, which I think I lost it back here somewhere. I did grab glue sticks before I realized that my glue gun was broken. And these are a decent little package to get. There's 20 piece from the Crafter Square brand of the mini glue sticks to go in the mini glue guns. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed this ribbon, which I do have two of them, but I just, I don't know with reaching where the other one is. And it's that really, really pretty plaid, the red and green, nine feet long. This one again is the wire edged ribbon. I don't know where all, 
I may have already used this one, to be quite honest with you. I've used up so much stuff. It's incredible. So I grabbed that one. And then I had two of these as well. And these are the, like, the burlap ribbon with the blue snowflakes on it. And this one is just the regular burlap ribbon. There's no wire in it. And it's nine feet long as well. And I definitely did use the second one already up that I had bought. And I used this second one also. So this one is the nine feet long. Again, it's the burlap with the white little polka dots on it. And I grabbed two of those. But now I just have the one because I've made so many wreaths. Ah, there's the other plaid one. So that's the plaid one. The second one. I haven't used that one yet. And this is definitely a great, great, great buy. This is the Colombiana, Colombiana, whatever brand, fun mix. Over 45 pieces, hostess mix, great candy, um, dish item. And it has all of these really, really cool options in it. I think that one was the butter scotch and the peppermint and um i think that one's a butterscotch i can't remember what that one is the little strawberry one that my nana's always had in their candy jars growing up so that is a decent size bag to put in a cute little crystal like dish on the table or scattered around um different countertops so that people can just grab and take a nibble of so there's that. And then I grabbed these body washes for Isaiah's basket. And these um, he needs now. So I might give him one now and then put one in. But I got three. And I always use Arm & Hammer brand of any type of cleaner, cleanser, you know, body wash or deodorant or even shampoo and stuff like that. So this is one container is the three in one body wash shampoo conditioner and this is cool water so i grabbed three of them and this is a really good size and i love arm and hammer so i grabbed him three of them to put in his body cleansing basket kind of thing that i'm making him i i told you in the last couple of videos it is becoming more and more difficult throughout the years to try to get him you know gifts and things like that because you know he's older he has a job he pretty much buys what he wants at this point and he tells me mom don't worry about it I got it I'll get it myself I don't want you spending the money I have my own money and I don't want to take away that independence but he does let me you know pick up things here and there if I really beg him I just bought him a video game the other day that well, um, was on sale on Black Friday that he insisted on paying for himself and I told his dad I was like look he's not paying for it just order it we'll pay for it and tell him that you know we used our own account and not his so that at least it's one gift early that he's not you know gonna get for himself so um I'm just trying to put together the little things that I can that I know that he needs and will use and he won't get to have to buy for himself for a while. So his toiletries and things like that and a little snack basket that he can bring upstairs, you know, to nibble on throughout the days. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to piece it all together. I may get him a gas card and things like that. So we're just going to try to roll with it and find him. I, I mean, I've found a few little things that I've ordered for him on Amazon Hopefully he'll like it, you know, if not, he'll, he'll smile and like it anyways, because he'll, he would never say, oh, mom, why'd you get me that? Because he knows better than that. So, um, hopefully, you know, he'll enjoy what we did pick out for him. Now, this is a really, really cute stocking. Again, it's the troll, so it is from my goddaughter, and I grabbed that with the hat that matches that is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I found those two things with all of our other little trolls items that I found. And then I got myself these three. 
stockings and I'm pretty much just going to hang them up for decoration anyways. Um, for the house, I grabbed this and it is a mermaid tail and it's got that cool sequence thing on it where you can kind of around and one side will be silver. The other one will be that iridescent like pearl color. So I grabbed that. I'm not going to fill it for myself. I'm just going to use it for decorations. And then this one I loved even more than that one because one side is the green. The other, of course, is the red. And it is another mermaid one, which I think is so beautiful. I love those. And then this one has to be my next favorite. It is a Wonder Woman stocking. And I think she is hot and cool and I love her and I am Wonder Woman. So she and I, I and she, are going to be chilling out for the holiday season on my mantle. So I grabbed her. And then last but not least, out of the Dollar Street Tree stuff, I do have a couple of other things I just want to show you really quick that is not from the Dollar Tree. But I have been buying the gift boxes for a canvas effect to hang on my walls which has worked out quite nicely and behind my bed are a bunch of really really pretty canvas boxes that I have put a little latch on the back to hang on my walls so that it kind of looks like a canvas picture instead of using it for gift boxes so I will try to include a picture at the end of this to show you what they look like on my wall behind my bed and then this is what I found most recently and I will use these also as picture images to put on my walls which I'm excited about that image for sure that is so so beautiful that snowman that tree is what gets me for sure that tree is so vibrant and beautiful and the colors are so classic for Christmas and this comes in a three piece so those are the images on the boxes that are in this pack and I love every single one of them and I think they're so so beautiful so I'm going to use those as pictures on my walls and then I also grabbed this one and this is also a three piece but I saw this Santa and I had to have that picture on my wall of Santa Claus He's just a really, really cute cartoon type of character um, to put out. And then the snowman on the back. And I don't know what the third one is in there, but we're already at 43 minutes. And I don't... Let's see if I can even open this without having to chew into it. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it because I'm not going to try to open it right now. And try to find out what that third image is but Santa is what I got this set of boxes for anyhow and I think he's stunning and that is it for the Dollar Tree now the only other thing that I want to show you is this this bag right here is a tote from Marshalls for seven Oh, let me see for $7.99 and this is the plaid that is in 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 that plaid that plaid this is that plaid is that not the prettiest thing and I'm not using this and look at inside it comes with all those different like compartment separators um which I will try to figure out later the inside of the bag opens up to like this nice big deep bag this is material it's so soft so smooth it feels amazing and aspen i don't that's one of the tags that's on it these really really pretty pretty rope handles on here are beautiful this bag is gorgeous i love it and i'm using it for a purse i am gonna go get one of my christmas ornaments and hang it off of the um hang it off of the handle and kind of use it as like a little 
bedazzle little add-on to the bag and I'm going to put my things in here, my wallet, my keys, my camera, you know, the things that I normally carry. And I had to have this. And I could not believe that this was $7.99 because this is a nice, nice bag. It's heavy. The weight of it, it it's just a really nice tote. I'm obsessed with it. I'm not going to put food in here. I'm not going to go shopping and put food in here and things like that. I'm going to put my belongings in here and I'm going to carry it around like a Christmas boss. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a Christmas boss this year. <laughs> my plaid bag. And I've found like a ton of plaid shirts that I want at the stores and stuff like that. I haven't picked them up for myself because it's Christmas and you don't buy things for yourself at Christmas from, you know my own conscience telling me so but I had to have this and this is like my favorite thing ever and I found this today when we were about to leave the Dollar Tree there was a Marshalls right across the street so I had to just go in there really quick because I was looking for something else and I saw this and it's mine and I'm excited so that's it now that's all that's it and that's all and that's it and the other things that have already been put away are like my riddles wrap and soap and and what have you the things that we already know about so i am going to get going because i have so many things to try to accomplish the rest of the afternoon and get done and i have enjoyed showing you these things and hanging out with you i'm going to try to piece this video together tonight put some pictures at the end and post it hopefully either tomorrow or tuesday and i hope that you guys are all well happy healthy um loved and peaceful and and together you know as much as you can be in a safe way through the holidays and I hope everyone is continuing to be safe when you go out, wear a mask, wash your hands, um, stay out of big crowds, go to the stores early, early in the morning uh, during like opening the first couple of hours of opening, go to the stores at the end of the day, at the last like hour, hour and a half of the stores being open, try to just get to a couple a day if necessary and um be safe while you're in there and stay away and keep the six feet apart we need to get this thing under control so that we can get back to life and being around one another and thanksgiving was nice with just us and my dad did come over but you know i do miss entertaining and being with all of my friends and family all together at once and I hope that we get that back someday so we all have to do our part. I am going to continue to do my part so I'm encouraging everyone else to do yours. I hope that you all are getting excited for Christmas. Let me know down below what your uh, holidays are looking like and what Christmas is going to look for, like for you. I hope that you all enjoy every single moment of it and I'll probably see you in a couple more weeks. The way that things are going between work and everything else so that's it for today and i love you guys and write comment like share subscribe and say hi to me and i will talk to you soon stay happy stay blessed and stay safe everybody bye